Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to discuss Laws of Exponent, Zero Exponent Rule. Okay, any number raised to zero is always equal to one. Now the question is why? And may kinalaman dito si Quotient Rule. So let's go back to Quotient Rule. So when we, subtra um, when we have a number being raised to another, for example, we have x raised to 4 over x raised to 3. So if you still remember our topic, ang gagawin lang dito is we copy the base and subtract 4 minus 3. And the answer will be x raised to 1 or simply just x. Diba? So ganyan, we subtract the exponent. Now what if we change this? Let's change it. What if we have the same, same exponent? So x raised to 4 divided by x raised to 4. So, paano yan? Okay? Now, if we're going to apply the quotient rule, we will have x raised to 4 minus 4. Diba? Then, we simplify, we will have x raised to 0. So, this will only happen if and only if you divide a number by itself. Now, going back, basic division, if you're going to divide a number by itself, okay, x raised to 4 divided by x raised to 4, the answer will always be equal to 1, diba? If a number is divided to itself, the answer is always 1. Therefore, if any number is raised to 0, then the answer is always equal to 1. Okay? Pareho lang. So, it's like, Zero exponent rule is like dividing a number to itself. That's why we always get 1. Diba? Okay, let's have an example. For example, we are going to simplify 5 raised to 0. The answer is 1. Okay, moving on. Let's have another example. Let's have x, xy, and they are all raised to 0. We can apply power of, a co um, power of a product here, but instead of applying that shortcut na tayo, since this, is, this whole expression is raised to 0, we can simply just say it is equal to 1. Diba? What about this one? We have 5 raised to a raised, uh, 5a raised to 0. So in this case, okay, take note, my grouping symbol ba kayong nakikita? Voila. Therefore, the, the number that is being raised by 0 here is a only. We have 5 times a raised to 0. And take note, all numbers that are raised by 0 is equal to 1. So we have 5 times 1. So the answer here is not equal to 1, but instead it is equal to 5. Okay. For example, we have x squared y over z raised to 3 raised to this group is raised to 0. So since this whole group is raised to 0, we can just simply equate it to our answer. A number or a group being raised to 0 is always equal to 1. Ta-da! Now that you know how to simplify zero exponent, now it's your turn to try this. Ayan. So, if you need more time to answer, you can pause the video. And kung kaya yung going mentally, very good. Okay. I can show you the answer in a few seconds. Okay. Now that you're done answering, or if you're done answering, ito ang final answers. Ito, answer key. Answer key. Okay. That's it for today. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.